In this class, we will try to solve a problem on pointing theorem. Let us try to understand the problem first. It is being said there is an H field which is nothing but a magnetic field propagating in a free space which is given by this expression. Now if you observe the H field has two components. It is across the X axis and it is across the Y axis and which is propagating it is minus beta Z. So it is propagating along plus Z axis right. Now how it is possible that a magnetic field can have two components. It is the only possible case when your magnetic field let us say H is inclined to X and Y axis which would be like let us say HX and it should be like HY right. So how to solve this problem let us see. So what I am going to do is I am going to write the hx component which is nothing but what is the magnitude of hx component it is 5 root 3 by n naught right what is hy component hy component is this is hy component right it is 5 by n naught right so what will be the resultant component h let me call as ht component which would be given by root over hx square plus hy square right. Let us substitute that value. If I substitute that value, it would be nothing but hx is this. So, it would be 5 root 3 by n naught the whole square right. What will be hy? hy is 5 by n naught. So, it would be 5 by n naught. Remember n naught is nothing but the intrinsic impedance in free space. So, if I solve this what will be ht? ht would be nothing but 10 by n0. So, I got the ht. Now, what I have to find? I have to find the time average power flow density right and we have already seen for a lossless medium what is the time average power density which would be given by the general formula is right this is for time average power density but this is in terms of e naught right but we don't have e naught right we have h naught or i can say that h so i have to convert that equation into h naught let's write that so i know that kind of a note e naught by h naught is nothing but your eta naught right so what would be h naught h naught would be nothing but E naught by eta naught, right? But we have to substitute. We have to substitute the E naught value. So E naught value would be n naught h naught. If I do so, this formula will become n naught square h naught square by two eta, right? If I further simplify this will become n naught and not will get cancelled because this is also n naught because we are talking about free space. So, this will become n naught h naught square by 2 right. So, let us find the power average would be n naught which is nothing but n naught. Now, we have to find h naught square h naught square will be nothing but my h t. So, h t is nothing but 10 by n naught the whole square right and by 2. So, it would be whole thing by 2. If I simplify this what I will get this will be nothing but n naught into 100 by 2 into n naught square right. This square and this n naught will go right. So, what we will be left with is nothing but can I say that it is nothing but 50 by n naught. So, we have able to find the time average power density for this problem. We will see more in the next videos.